Good morning. We are so happy that you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, we hope you will return tomorrow. Today, I am going to finally do my day in the life, step-by-step -step, um, video with timestamps and everything of how we kind of function in our house with Peter, my partner, working from home, and me staying home with her two children that are under two years old. Um, James is going to turn to November 1st and Teddy will in November will be six months. So they're about 18 months apart. Um, in the morning, we basically wake up when Jamesy wakes up or when Peter needs to get up for work. It is seven and Peter will get up with James. Um, I'm typically up with Teddy in the middle of the night. So he always gets up with James and they kind of start the morning slow. Um, in this case today, Peter does have early meetings. So usually I'll stay in the room with Teddy for a little bit longer, just in case he wakes up and kind of get him settled for his um, morning sleep. Like he typically sleeps a little bit longer. Um, but today I'm gonna go out and start hanging out with James. <laughs> To the living room, I'm gonna fill up my big cup of water. Peter and I have started like a very, very simple routine that we just want to check a couple of things off the list um, to feel good in the morning. And my first thing is fill up this cup. The second is I'll um I'll empty out all of like our waste baskets throughout the house. We have one in the living room and one in the bathroom, and then I will stretch. Wow. Shoot. Let me see. What did you find? What did you find? So the morning does usually start with Jamesy leading us to the kitchen whenever he's hungry and it was right away today. Um, I keep breakfast very simple and typically do like some sort of breakfast bar or big bar or something bar um, just because it's easy and we don't really know when he's going to wake up. Jamesy, Jamesy, or I'll do like toast and peanut butter or something like that. Keeping breakfast simple. But we still have donuts from Cali Lime Orchard. Wow. So we're having a donut for breakfast today. And maybe I'll chop one of these up. What do you think? We keep it nice and cozy in here for as long as we can. Nice calm morning. We start usually with resort TV or some kind of music on the TV. And we'll just eat out here because our apartment's small. We don't want to stay in the kitchen and potentially wake up Teddy. So, Teddy's awake. It is 7.30. Typically, I could just go in there and Peter would stay out here with James. But today, he can't be, so he's gonna have to come out here a little earlier. So today, Jamesy followed me in. So I'm gonna see if Teddy will go back down in here. Thank you. And, um, and thank you. Sometimes when I need Jamesy to be preoccupied in my room, he plays with my little bowl of pins, we added some coins in there, bracelet, or sometimes like I'll turn on the TV or I'll just give him my phone. But because it is so early still, this will work out. I honestly was gonna take Teddy out there, out into the living room. Um, so we'll see if he goes back 
to sleep. Um, or he, he might be up for the day. Okay, that worked out better than I expected it to. Um, I honestly thought Teddy was gonna be out here, but he went back down. James and I are back out here sleeping. And now in the future, instead of feeling like I have to rely on a screen, I'll just throw James in the bassinet. I've done that before in like the middle of the day, but I never thought to do it this early in the morning. So Teddy's back down and now I'm gonna try to stretch. So I got my full stretch in. The, the trouble with like filming this morning um, is that the baby monitor is on my phone. So I need to make sure that I have that up for Teddy. So I haven't been able to film too much, but we're just playing. James has always been a really good player. Um, so until Teddy wakes up, you can find us here. Jamesy has learned a new skill of turning, oh gosh, turning the TV off when it's not something that he wants anymore. I tried switching the music to the Bluey soundtrack just because I was feeling that, but then once he saw the Bluey characters and they weren't like the show, um, he wasn't thrilled about it. But honestly, he just goes over there and turns on the TV and that's how he tells me. Um, so I typically try to wait two hours after James wakes up um, to turn something on our TV. We are a family that embraces screen time. Um, and so we're nearing that time. So I'm going to put on Miss Rachel, which is a YouTube channel that helps with toddler, child, baby development as far as like speech and colors and learning and such goes. She's fabulous and truly like who we owe a lot of James Z's like recent growth in his vocabulary too. Um, James E has been like, he's able to communicate with us in different ways. And you know, him being the oldest, he really has his needs met. As I'm explaining um, how James has communicated with us in his own ways. Alongside, obviously, speaking with our doctor and um, we're actually in the, the works of getting him evaluated to see if he needs like a little bit extra therapy to improve his language. Um, Miss Rachel has taught him so much in the past month. Um, so, <coughs> so I just cut up this caramel apple for a little snack. Typically, whatever James is eating, I'm eating that too. I typically don't make a separate food. Um, but yeah, so he brought me in here to, to have a snack. But we thank Miss Rachel for being awesome and for clearly doing a good job teaching our child. Also, it really does capture his attention. He loves her. Um, and so usually that like two hour mark coincides with Teddy waking up. He's, he's still sleeping which works out for Teddy and I because I can give my full attention to him during his breakfast and Jamesy is very happy to be watching Miss Rachel. Just a real life toddler thing this morning instead of wanting them in a bowl. Jamesy's preference is sitting on the kitchen floor and me handing him magnets in here also one of Jamesy's favorite things to play with if I ever need him busy in here. I like, I like to treat myself throughout the day to my little fancy drinks, obviously. If you've been watching, I am trying to cut out pop. Um, but I, I've drank kombucha every day for a while. I've had belly issues since I was born. And drinking kombucha daily is the only thing that has helped me my whole life. i tried so many different things, and kombucha is my savior. Um, so, I typically, like, once I finish, like, my full water, that's when I'll come in and get my little kombucha treat. It's definitely not for everybody. I like certain flavors that are more like rich in flavor. Like I like the tart cherry and pineapple 
and this blueberry basil one. I think. Oh no, I have the tart cherry. But I suggest if you're looking for something to help your belly or just it's good for your gut at all. Um, if you don't like it, to mix it with a juice or something else that's sparkly and yummy because it's so good for you. It's truly my lifesaver and I honestly just do like I can basically break up one container into thirds and drink that much a day and that's all it takes. Hi. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. All right so it's just about nine o'clock. Teddy is awake again like it typically works out like this. There are plenty of days where it does not but it is nice that I get that one-on-one -on -one time with Jamesy in the morning because Teddy likes to sleep in so late. Here's our girl. She got a new video out today. You are really, really cute. Oh, you are really, really cute. <laughs> you are really, really cute. So I've been trying to feed Teddy when he wakes up instead of feeding him to go to bed. And it's a work in progress, but... It's progress. <laughs> We're trying, right? So I'm just going to feed Teddy. James will watch Miss Rachel. And we'll all be chill for a little bit. <gasps> now Teddy is up and he's playing over here on his mat. James is playing some music. While James and Teddy are kind of just kind of having their own <laughs> individual playtime. I will hop on my laptop and I'll just like check my email. Um, I like to go over my finances at this point. I feel like if I don't have a set time to do certain things, they don't get done. Um, and so this has kind of always been like their like independent time. And I feel comfortable just like hopping on the on my computer and like seeing what bills are due, seeing what we've spent and all that sort of stuff. So that's just for me. I need to, I like to keep all of that fresh in my head because Peter is a, a data guy. He made this spreadsheet. Then I just go in and mark what's paid and all that good stuff. Super easy peasy. So again, I am just somebody who likes to have this fresh in their mind. This time does not last long. Um, and so that's why it helps that I do it every day because it's just a short little task, not overwhelming, just a quick look at everything and make sure and make sure we're good. I'm really trying to just like hit every nail on the head with like sharing my realistic expectations for the day with two little ones under two. Um, and this is just something nice that like helps me like stay afloat. Um, is putting small tasks in between places that I know I can. I also made our bed. When Teddy wakes up, I, if he's in the bassinet, I'll leave him there. If he's, if sometimes like when he woke up this morning, I put him back to sleep. He just stayed in our bed. Um, I'll put him in the bassinet and make the bed. So again, just like finding little ways to like make myself feel accomplished are key for my mentality throughout the day. Um, and so that's why I wanted to include this little bit. Hi, cutie pie. It's 10 o'clock. We're going to have some hummus and pita chips for a snack. She's just so funny, right? <laughs> Teddy thinks so, too. You shy now? Oh, Daddy was in meetings for two hours and you forget I was here, huh? <laughs> You guys usually have nice mornings together, yeah, you but stole it from me. today, out of meetings. She's trying not to show that I have gym shorts on. <laughs> <laughs> I had a presentation to give, so it's like I had to put a collar on, but I couldn't find my jeans. Jamesy, Miss Rachel, the whole family's here. <laughs> hey, Evie's nice. She's right there. Oh. Yeah, she's right here. She just, she just wants this, the snacks. All right, so like after an hour. We are done with Miss Rachel. We'll put on a movie or Bluey or something Halloween-y. It's about this time that Teddy starts acting like he needs his first nap. This is always kind of tricky. Um, honestly, Teddy's naps are still just like sporadic and like 
whenever they happen, they happen, short, long, whatever. He's not really on a schedule just yet with him still being so small. Um, it also depends on Peter's work schedule. If he can be out here working with James, I can actually go bring Teddy into a dark room and truly put him down. Um, but sometimes it just kind of is like, he'll nurse, he might get a little sleepy. Um, and then we kind of just like take what we can get. And today is just one of those take what we can get days. Also, I'm not showing them, but I promise plenty of diaper changes are happening. So here's where Teddy's taking a nap today. So Peter just got out of a meeting. So he's in there with the boys. Teddy's still asleep. I'm going to quick make that pumpkin smoothie, no, pumpkin milkshake I saw online. Um, typically during this time, like the pre, like between morning and lunch time, I would typically like do something like go to the park or make a smoothie. Um, but most of the time we're just chilling. We're just playing because that's just reality right now. I do want to become more brave and start going places now that I feel like I kind of have these days down. Um, there's a, there's stuff going on at the library soon. I don't know. Typically we are just relaxing between that time. And then after nap time, we'll have a little bit more fun, but just the, the ebbs and flows of the little one needing more sleep. Um, and it being a big to do to get everyone dressed and go out. We're pretty, we're pretty chill at this age. Um, but I am going to make this quick because I have a second, um, where Peter can be in there with them. Okay. We got four frozen bananas. This is 29 ounces of pure pumpkin. Oat milk. I'm just going to eyeball it. I'll let you know if I add more. And then I'm going to use this Penzi's pie spice. It has cinnamon, vanilla sugar, ginger, nutmeg, anise seasoning, and clove. And I just shook a bunch in there. Okay, I blended it up and it was just like not sweet enough. So I put a ton more of the pie spice in there. Let's see if, if this makes it any better. I did that two more times. Um, so I would say a lot, a lot of cinnamon, a lot of your, your spice, um, because that is just pure pumpkin. Um, got to sweeten it up. So I have this ready for Peter before his next meeting. We got this almond milk ready whip. Oh my get fancy. I even added a little cinnamon on top. I don't know what I think about it. I'm not a huge pumpkin drink person or pumpkin pie person, really. It tastes really good. Yeah? It tastes more like a pumpkin pie than a smoothie. Yeah, like you're just sipping on pumpkin pie. <laughs> Put it in this classic Pocahontas cup. Let's see what James C. thinks. I mean, well, it is a hit with Jamesy. We're about an hour away from nap time, so now we do lunch. How was your little nap? Good, you gonna hang out? While, while I'm getting ready, whatever I'm making for him, I usually give him something easy that he can snack on. Also, this isn't dirty. I just got a little crazy with my pie spice on top. So yeah, usually start with something easy for him to just eat on his own. We're actually kind of running low on groceries. So today I'm just heating up leftovers for him. He really liked dinner last night. So he'll, he, he'll eat this up. James, he was just betrayed by a blueberry, um, but he's still eating them. Um, typically I just do some kind of protein with some sort of carb, like avocado toast or hummus and crackers. Um, or beans of some sort. He really likes pot stickers. Um, so yeah, we usually do like some kind of fruit, easy like finger snack, and then a main thing, something else other. I'm really simple with um, with lunch, to be honest. I never really go, I never really go too big. Sometimes I'll make eggs, and that's, that's fancy for me. <laughs> My priority. 
my priority is that I know he's full. I know he's getting good nutrients. Um, <laughs> you are silly. Um, and that's all. That's all you can hope for. I, I'm going to crack open my sparkling water. This one does have caffeine in it because it has the black tea, but it's just it's just our our um our new life, I guess, without pop. <laughs> what? Are you serious? with nuts on it to the mix for lunch. up until nap we eliminate screen time so we're just gonna quiet play i also wait until after lunch to change them out of their jammies in case they get dirty from lunch and it's like fresh for their nap um and then for the rest of the day if you're new to our channel you might not know that jamesy has um kind of struggled with nap time after we've weaned him off a bottle during it um, we've done stroller like walk naps and now I'm trying to just like push the stroller back and forth to slowly oh Teddy <laughs> uh, it's all right um to slowly get him just like to go to bed in his bed like he does at bedtime he does he does get we do we do snuggle at bedtime um it's so, like I wouldn't mind doing just a snuggle for nap time but he struggles with it and today we might have a curveball because it's raining um so we got to chat with dad and figure out what we're going to do because he uses the nursery as his office. I do 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 do. I do 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 do. Um, I spoke a little too soon. It looks like the sun is coming out. So I'm going to get us outside. But first, outfit changes, diaper changes, fresh for naps. And mom is also out of her jammies too. Okay, we got one kid down. No, this one's not good. This one's not good. No. I hate this. to interrupt your uh, book this reading. Uh -huh. um, no. we, gotta, we gotta get you changed. Oh gosh. Jamesy knows what Teddy and the carrier means. Let's go outside. Kid number two is ready. So for the timing for nap time for James is five to five and a half hours after he has woken up for the day. So it kind of varies per day. Like, you know, he typically wakes up around seven-ish, but it could go either way. Um, so I really have just focused on wake windows. That has really always worked best for him. Um, so it's after 12.30 and Peter will be able to help me back in at one. So today just worked out that I um, took the kids out by myself and then I can only, this can only work, me going out with the, with the stroller for a nap when Peter can help me in because James is pretty big and he needs to be picked up and calmly transferred into the crib and I can't do that while baby wearing. So shoot, I was kind of walking for a while. I have meaning to, I do like, I walk a few houses and then push them like this for like five minutes, walk two houses, but I was just kind of vlogging away. Um, but yeah, that's why the five to five and a half hour window works, 
has to work for us because we have to have Peter help us back in. a little bit while we wait for Peter to be done with his meeting. And holy smokes, he was out in less than 15 minutes. So I think we're making progress. Hopefully just in time for winter. <laughs> small so when Jamesy goes in his room the living room becomes the office <laughs> so I'm gonna do work back here put this baby down for a nap and maybe Peloton maybe. also here's real life our duvet cover just on top of our duvet because <laughs> we haven't put it on back on there yet <laughs> nobody got time for that James got one on one time earlier. <laughs> and now it's Teddy's turn. He's been blowing raspberries. <laughs> like a Looney Tune. Are you getting chief? You going to eat me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> So I wasn't able to get on the Peloton during nap time. My phone died, typical, and I couldn't have the monitors up then. So I was able to like plug in my phone, take a shower, just dried my hair, um, put some mascara on. And then Jamesy woke up. And I would say, I'm not a huge fan of this. And I'm also not a huge pumpkin pie fan. What was that, a kiss? Um, but Peter really likes it. He's a big pumpkin pie person. So this is more pumpkin pie flavored than like, I love pumpkin spice stuff, but this is more like straight pumpkin pie. Look, who else is awake now? Everyone took good naps. Except for me. <laughs> and me. Yeah, naps. So we're just having some more chips and hummus. We definitely need to go grocery shopping, but we're, we're nearing the end of Friday. Yay! <laughs> Ooh, hi. <laughs> Teddy just loves being told hi. Every once in a while, he'll say it back. And now we're having some rice and soy sauce. Uh-oh because we are going to an American Cancer Society dinner tonight for the Chicago Marathon, um, but the dinner doesn't start until seven. So this is like a little sneaky snack beforehand. Are you happy it's the weekend? Are you nervous for the marathon? I'm nervous. I'm Good. nervous for it. I'm nervous. I need to make a plan. Okay, so that is the end of our day in the life portion of the vlog. Really like, Towards the end, we just chilled until Peter was off of work. We all got ready. And now we are headed downtown for the ACS dinner. Cocktail hour begins at six. <laughs> He's a little conceited. 
a little narcissistic. <laughs> We got Miss Rachel and stickers to occupy ourselves for 30 more minutes until dinner and the speeches. Nice. <laughs> if you care about someone and you have a little love in your heart, there ain't nothing you can't get through together. Thank you again for everyone and the American Cancer Society for the work you do. Congratulations to everyone here running on Sunday and the money we raised to fight cancer. Best of luck. Thank you. You were given a ghost to get checking where there is someone on the table in front of you. Quarter to nine, and per usual, we are like the last people leaving. It's only ACS workers now, but it's because we love our ACS family. So we still. Oh, I forgot I gave that water to you. <laughs> we stayed back and we're just chit chatting. We're gonna go back to the car and hope there's not a ticket. I forgot that we did auto league parking, and Sarah was like, "Ah, oh, did we renew the parking?" And I was like, "I didn't." So I went in there and like added an hour, but it had expired. So we shall see. He's a city kid. Just we got a saxophone on the streets of Chicago. Yeah. Uh, Route 66 passing by. Sleeping security guard right there on the window. <laughs> oh, are you done with this? The moment of truth, James. We're about to walk up to the minivan and see if we have a ticket. So, we shall see. It's still there, at least it's not towed. <laughs> yeah, so, so, <laughs> so I happens, hope you don't have a ticket. Often. And I was like, no, 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 no. Here, you have to, the first concern is, is the car still there? And then the second concern is, do you have a ticket? I don't think there is a ticket. Oh, okay. What the powers that be? Look at this hair. Sarah said it's got to be quick sign off because it's a long vlog. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. I'm like lost. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs> 